Hi and welcome to Cheeky Crypto Uncensored and in today's video we've got lots of news surrounding XRP but there's other stuff as well that needs to be covered it needs to be said i hope you enjoy this video if you do mash up that like button subscribe if you haven't subscribed already tap in that bell selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video right let's get down to the desktop so we're going to start here on coin market cap and the total global crypto market cap uh is down 0.33 percent at 1.04 trillion dollars and bitcoin at 25,718.83 which is down 8.10 percent in the last seven days let me know in the comments below do you think that we're going to see further downside for bitcoin or are you expecting a bounce to the upside really interested to canvas people's thoughts and opinions so do let us know the first thing that i want to cover off is uh, the fact that ripple cto has uh, broke his silence on the xrp l or ledger fork uh, x -ha. I think that's how you would pronounce it. Um, and yeah, look, I want to dig into this, right? He's uh, basically said that, you know, um, I guess he he's began by drawing parallels to the early days of Bitcoin. He said that he remembered the early days of Bitcoin where everyone thought that, you know, no cryptocurrency would ever overtake Bitcoin because Bitcoin had the first mover advantage and the technical advantage was impossible. Uh, Swartz remarks um, that he went on to highlight that Ethereum, despite coming later, managed to adopt technology that was superior to that of Bitcoin in central uh, certain uh you know cr criteria um and and stuff like that so i think this is really interesting he also emphasized uh you know the uh fact that new blockchains um you know are much smaller they're more agile and they can develop and uh, prove new technologies work with real money and without risking the uh, stability of uh, existing layer one chains and that's why i have kind of said to expect a lot of layer twos and to expect layer twos not just on ethereum but on multiple chains to do really well in the next bull market i am also um you know predicting that we're going to see layer ones become layer twos so I'm, I'm really sort of um canvassing i guess layer ones that perhaps aren't doing as well as they would like um but you know a pivot to a layer two could mean that those projects become very successful projects and i think we're going to see that so uh, i'm not suggesting xrp is one of those i think it's got far too much adoption and uh, i think you know it, it's reminds me a little bit of uh, bitcoin in a completely different sense uh you know of of, of th that term but you know it reminds me of uh you know the skeptic uh, skepticism that this project gets um you know I, it reminds me a little bit of the early days of bitcoin it's probably the best way to to describe it but you know it's really interesting stuff let me know your thoughts and opinions on this um i've done a little bit of a write up on uh twitter so go check that out we got ripple moves to have uh sec request uh to a uh, appeal the xrp decision uh denied this is something that we touched on before but you know they've basically come out and you know ba basically you know they're fighting that you know uh, the sec shouldn't be able to appeal the decision and the decision should just stand so really interesting stuff lawyer outlines ripple sec settlement path amid coinbase case impact John Deaton uh, clarifies that even if an appeal were possible in such a situation, the agency's authority would be diminished. So really interesting stuff. And I'm going to drop this in the Discord for you to read through at your leisure. We've got Visa uh, to send stablecoin USDC over Solana to help pay merchants in cryptocurrency a lot of adoption from both visa and mastercard really interesting to see so we've also seen growth in derivatives trading volume in august uh, this is led by options uh, it's really really interesting and you can see here on the charts uh, really really cool and uh, yeah i think that this is rather interesting a uh, trading volume across crypto derivatives listed on um panama based 
uh, exchange uh, rem uh, remained brisk last month, even though uh, the global activity had called. Really interesting stuff and, uh, you know, something to be keeping an eye on. We've got FTX wallet shifts $10 million in crypto, sparking fears of token dumps to come. Now, I'm of uh, a different opinion. I think that a lot of uh, sales will be done over the counter. So I'm not expecting this to impact the crypto markets significantly but time will tell and it's one to definitely uh, monitor we got usdc uh, officially expands to base and optimism network circles usdc is now available natively on base and optimism and coinbase accounts uh, can now uh, transfer the stable coin to base for the first time so lots of breaking news lots of really positive stuff and uh, a lot of stuff to also keep an eye on. I do think that, you know, we're going into a, a really scary phase when it comes to, to cryptocurrency. Uh, a lot of people are of the belief that only 1% of people in crypto are going to be ultra successful. Now, I'm of that belief. And uh, I believe that, you know, over the next five to eight months we're going to see 99 percent of the people currently in cryptocurrency disappear and the one percent that are remaining i think will go on to be very very successful but the reason why i say this is i think that we're going to see some dark times over the coming months uh, both you know economically but also in the crypto space i think that the next you know five to eight months is going to be uh you know probably the hardest part of this bear market uh you know whether we go sideways or whether we go down uh, i expect the the fed pivot to happen i expect a, an almighty crash both in stocks crypto and other sectors so you know for me it's uh you know being i guess in this space um you know through that whole period and continuing to to be you know monitoring the situations with all the uh exchanges and uh, other you know platforms out there that you know tr try to hold people's crypto um, i do think that we're going to see a lot of projects potentially fail over that period of time as well as their runways um, you know uh, run out and they run out of funds and i think that there's going to be some really top quality projects that do fail over the coming months uh, i know that sounds really bleak but that one percent of people that are remaining in this space over the next five to eight months i do think are going to be the ones that you know are, are labeled as lucky and are the ones that are going to be those uh really successful individuals it's really important to you know keep your eye on the prize make sure that you're keeping yourself present in the crypto space monitoring the projects and investments that you have making sure that you know you you do pivot if you need to if you see things that don't you know quite make sense or you're not happy with you know you've got the right to ask challenging questions of these projects but please do it constructively uh, and with the right approach there's no need to be rude um, but you know I do think that you know we've got the right if we're investing in these projects to ask challenging questions uh, and I think that you know we should be doing that I think you know if the roadmaps aren't you know being kept up to date and uh, you know project teams aren't you know achieving the the deadlines they set themselves on these roadmaps we should be asking serious questions you know we're seeing liquidity being pulled by projects we're seeing projects uh, moving from different chains already and uh, i think that you know if you're a layer one project i would be very dubious uh you know supplying funds to to projects looking to um and i, I want to air quote this um looking to be you know cross chain uh and more interoperable i think these are just buzzwords that a lot of uh, projects that are looking for funding right now pivoting from say cardano to another chain this is really you know in my opinion in uh most cases because they're running out of funds and uh, i think we're probably going to see an uptick in this so if you're you know managing a layer one project i don't know what sort of questions you want to be asking but you probably want to be looking at the books and you know looking at the the runways and asking yourselves the question of you know do they really want to build on your chain because they love what you're doing or are they just looking to you know liquidity grab and uh, i think that there's going to be a lot of this going on so you know if you see chains moving uh, across uh, 
um you know i think these are some of the questions that we should be asking let me know your thoughts your opinions in the comments below i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did and you've got some value from it do mash up that like button helps push out the content to like-minded individuals we really do appreciate it and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already tapping that bell selecting all the notifications so you never miss a uh, video give us a, a follow on twitter give us a follow on uh, facebook uh, join us in the discord have more meaningful conversations and check out cheekycrypto.io and um, yeah there's lots of on-chain data you can become a member and get technical analysis on request and much more so go check it all out thanks for watching take care and i'll catch you in the next one